Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is my one year and some change lock anniversary video. So I'm not going to talk too much. This is a compilation of pictures and videos I had um, from since I started my lock journey. So I put them all together here. Please do enjoy. As always, like this video if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, let's get to it. All right, so I added in a few pictures of me pre-locks, just so you can see what my background was. I had natural hair for my all of my adult life. I hadn't had any relaxers since my teen years. I wore puffs a lot, uh, twist outs, braid outs, and that kind of a thing. This was me the night I um, had my husband buzz my hair all off. It was the shortest I'd ever gone in my whole life, my shortest cut. And um, I had him do like a taper and I loved it right away my hair at the time was getting on my nerves I was just tired of maintenance of it and I wanted something so easy and I wanted to try out a shortcut oh I just really really loved it I felt like it suited me I would let it grow out a bit play around with it then cut it back down again um, you know, and I did that a couple times and I started to think to myself, was I going to keep it short? Was I going to keep doing that? Or what was I going to do? You know, and this is my, my daughter actually with locks and right around the time I was thinking of locking up, she was thinking of taking her locks down. So we started doing that for her. She had locks for five years. I'll link that up above um, if you're interested. But um, I did another cut here. You can see it was super short with my uh, Yorkie Merlot. <laughs> he had a higher cut again that day. But um, so this was the day before I decided to cut. This was my last picture I have of my hair before I locked it up. So I just did two strand twists. I did it myself, kept it simple. Um, after a, a fresh wash, started twisting up. You can see the top here. I had something to work with up there, but towards the back, the nape was like very difficult getting into twists. I did twist it up, but of course, they came down quite a bit. And um, you know, it was a while before those had enough length for them to kind of lock up together. So thinking back on it, I think should have just left those parts down and worried about them later or not. I don't know. But it worked out, you know, now it's fine. So that was a couple days after me twisting up. And, um, you know, I had no problem with them right away. I, I loved them. Uh, washed when I wanted to wash. Retwisted. Not very often at all. Um, and it was just, you know whatever at this point I wasn't even sure I was going to keep them in so I was just kind of really lax about it really laid back I wore a head wrap here and there but um you know I just let them do their thing and um let them grow out about five months I started to see a little bit more you know some changes there some length on the sides and the back and here is my six month retwist um, again, I do those at home myself and um, at the time I wasn't using any product. I would just use water or I would wash my hair and it would be wet. I would retwist and that would be that. That would be it. I used no oil, no water, no nothing. Um, later on, a couple of twists after that, here's my seven months, I started to use some aloe gel. But at the seven month mark, oh man, I was really, really loving my locks here. You can see those sides and back really kind of grew out. Um, here I was thinking, you know, what the, kind of, you know how your, your locks at this point start thickening up. And I was thinking, hmm, you know, I wonder what size they're going to be. I started seeing quite a bit of thickening here. And um, I do know at some point, some people will see their locks start changing like this and think, oh, I, get, I don't want this size or I got to start over. But there was, you know, a point where they seemed thinner as well, too. But um, yeah, then like this, I said here, it's looking quite a bit shorter. And that could be because of shrinkage at the eighth month mark, or it could also be because um, I hadn't retwisted. 
in what had it been now a couple of months so it could be either one of those things or those things together but um you know there's so many different changes when you're going through with your locks they'll uh swell they'll shrink they'll seem longer they'll seem shorter so i just went with it the, at this point i started to wear a lot more styles because i did have some of that growth on the sides and the back although the back was still getting on my nerves and not because it, that those were popping out now because they were locking up but it was like that not the nape but up above that nape area was so like fine and um thin that it wasn't completely it wasn't locking on itself at so much so at a point I was thinking oh my yeah and see how thick my locks look now or there they looked really thick then um, but anyways it, it just you know took some time it took quite a bit of time to lock up here's my nine months I was really seeing a lot of growth here and I was like whoa what happened to my locks that's you know something's going on here <laughs> they're really growing out they're really looking good so I had decided to count them. That's my daughter there again. Oh, at this point, I believe her hair was all the way taken down. We took quite a few months to comb them out. Um, but yeah, they were all the way combed out at this point. Um, anywho, for me, I wanted to count. I had some sort of an idea how many I had. Um, but really, I was so way off on it. I don't know what I was thinking, but we counted my locks there. Um, Here's the nine months, you know, looking a lot the same from the eight months. Not much changes here. I tried an updo, you guys. That was not working because I was like, oh, my sides and back have grown out so much. But it was not time for an updo. I had to try and use so many pins and it was not working. So um, I'll have to try it up to another time. But, you know, looking a lot the same here. And um, here's my 11 months, almost a year cannot believe it but you can see these back guys here I'm gonna show that area in a little bit that I was talking about that took a while to lock start locking itself up like right now where I'm at I feel like my hair sort of locks its own self and I retwist it you know to help it along but they just kind of lock on their own but that middle back part took quite a while and it was a hot mess a lot of times <laughs> oh geez but um yeah there i am for my 11 months a little bit of difference you know not much sometimes i feel like my hair has changed so much other times i um feel like you know not much but when you do look back at pictures i tell you what you can really tell the difference there All right, so into my one year, I don't have a photo from my exact one year or my exact 12 months. This is 11 months again, just a little bit later. After that, maybe in a week or so. Um, and then this is now, or not now, but this was a little while ago. So it was like a year and a month, a year and two months. And that's how I was looking. I don't know how I did not get a 12 month photo. Actually, I do. I just don't uh, pay that much attention, I guess, um, to like, you know, it's been this many days or this many, which I think helps because then you're not focused on, you know, how your hair is doing, how it's growing, how it's, or too much anyways. So anywho, I just put together some compilation photos. I know I like to see side by sides. This is from the beginning, you know, a couple months after, and then the five months. This is the beginning all the way till now. So you can see the difference there. And then um, I put together another one of the back. So you can kind of see the progress there. My tattoo, my ohm symbol is almost all the way covered up in that third one. Um, so you can tell there's some differences there and thicker locks. And then this is, you know, through the months or what 
Okay, you guys, that is it. This is how I am looking now. And, um, oh, I finally got me a, almost updo. I got me some two ponytails. Maybe I'll try an updo soon and post about that. But, um, anywho, that's it. Please leave me any questions or comments you have below. And I will see you next time. Bye.